Hi, I'm Annika Sweeney with the Whatcom Conservation District here to demonstrate the Make Your Own Watershed lesson. So once you've introduced a, what a watershed is using some of the background information provided in the lesson plan, it's time to set out your tarp. So you'll put it out on even grass and spread it out as far as you can before you get all your participants to gather around it. Step two. Get everyone to step onto the tarp and they're going to be getting ready to move now. So put your feet on the tarp and start to scooch forward, bringing that tarp with you. And so it gathers up in the middle and then take big jumps back. Now, oftentimes there's not perfect peaks and valleys and rivers. So take a look at it and see if you can straighten some things out, fluff some things up to make sure that when water were to flow down it, it would have an exit. Step three, now it's starting to be time to get creative. So ask the participants if they start to notice where there are some streams and valleys, where are there ridge tops and mountains, and take your markers and use those markers to draw in those ridge lines, draw in those creeks, those valleys, those lakes if they see them, oceans if they identify them, and color in everything that's water and blue, and use the browns and blacks to identify the ridge lines. All right, step four, now is fun with the toys. So every participant should grab a number of different items or just have a bucket available that folks can grab from and start to occupy your watershed. So ask the students where they would envision a car, where they would envision farm animals, where they would envision heavy machinery, where would um, some green grass would be or some trees end up. And start to visualize what a watershed would look like and all the different components within it. And once you've placed all of your toys on the on the tarp or in your watershed. Now it's time to take out those markers and put the finishing touches on it. So if there's any pieces that are missing, um, if we didn't have enough humans in it, if you didn't have any roads, if you'd like to add um, train tracks, if you'd like to add buildings, skyscrapers, storm drains, etc., be creative, have a blast and put as much as you can into that watershed because this is a time where you can really have fun with it. So now becomes the critical thinking part of our lesson today. You want to ask everybody involved what pollution sources might exist within this watershed. So looking at the community that you've built on the tarp, um, where would there be potential for pollution? And by using your markers and maybe the cocoa powder or sprinkles or chocolate chips, whatever you have, start to place those on your watershed in a way that once it starts to rain, it could run off. Step six. This is the funnest part, especially on a nice warm day when you can get everybody wet. Grab some water in your watering can and head over to your watershed. And start slowly, start at the peaks of your watersheds and rain all over and see where things run off. Take a moment, take some time to reflect on it and then start to pour it again and just try to cover the tarp as much as possible, seeing where things are flowing out to, where things are ponding, what sort of runoff you're seeing. And it's a great time for some critical thinking and some inquiry. All right, step seven. So after you've poured water on your watershed, you've had good conversation with everybody about the pollution sources, where things flow, where it's ponded, where they were surprised about areas that it flowed one way as opposed to another. Now it's time to clean up, which can also be really fun too. So grab all those toys, put them in a bucket and rinse them off first. You can also put in a cup full of bleach to make sure that they're sanitized and then let them air dry. As for the water in the tarp, Gather it up on all four corners and try to pour it into a bucket. And then you're going to want to put it down your sink or into your toilet to make sure that it ends up in the sewer and not in our storm drains, which end up going to our creeks and rivers. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for joining us. We hope you had fun. And if you're interested in finding out what watershed you live in and what the water quality might be like in your neighborhood, go to whatcomcd.org. We've got a lot of different resources there available, and there are more lessons coming.